I can see there. This is the, the natural roseberry leaf. They only bloom once a year, and they come from the largest of trees, the roseberry tree. So, come on closer. If you really exam <laughs> if you really examine this one, is it zooming on? I'm zooming on this camera person. Uh, so you can really see that it's as so few some on my ear. Uh, so some <laughs> some see-through spots, which indicates it's it's ripe, which means you can eat it. And you can see, there's a slight residue. You can you can feel that. You, you want to touch a camera, man? Camera. See, you feel that residue? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. if you if we take a look inside. You can. My ass was kind of wet. I can lie. So I'll dry it off for you. Thank you. It, you can see it's it's quite thin, but also quite susceptible. So if you eat it, you can really taste. There's a bit of honey taste in it, but also a bit of grassy flavor. So let's let's, let's examine more into this. You can see there's uh, some honey suckles, which I just learned about. Oh here. There's some honey suckles up there, but there's also a, a natural roseberry spider of death, which is has white coloring, and this one's dead because when they die, they 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 splooge their uh, web-like semen everywhere, and it coats their is entire it, is body. Is it edible? Is it edible? You can eat it if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it. Oh. It, it tastes like honey, as well as anything around this place. Everything tastes like honey, but it also will give you indigestion and tons of diarrhea. Good. So if you look closely, you can see kind of its some of its past, me some of its past meals, and stuff like that. Let, let, let's let's head up here to examine the uh, the waterberry. Okay, let's just stay behind. Me. I want I want to be in the shot. Okay, unexpected thing in the past. This is a uh, natural leaf of collaborary Ow. ingestion. You got you get it. <laughs> You, you can really see that, if you look inside, it is alive. But it's made of many different small organisms making up one big organism. Does it have a cock? Well, it's asexual, which means they reproduce by themselves, so they have no need for the male genitalia of a cock. What about a vagina? Well, they also don't need that as well. What about a titty? Well, uh, they do not need to feed their young with nice mommy milkers. Okay, so, but like they don't need to, but do they have them? They well, since they don't need it, they <laughs> stop being so horny, bro. What about what about uh, 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 ass? Well, as I described to you before, they're a plant. They don't have any of that. Why? Let's keep on moving up. Can you just look at my ass again? Stop doing that. that oh my god, I will hurt you. We don't have any from the graph. We need some. Perfect. <laughs> stop. Perfect. Look over here. The the yellow berry rose thorn of death. You touch them, dead immediately. But as you can see, if you examine them closely, fuck, I touched it. <laughs> if you examine, I'm gonna die in the next 24 hours. But it's fine. Yeah, as 24 you minutes. Thank you. Minutes? Yeah. Uh, as you can see, they're they're quite strong. And let the bees like eating them because it, it makes them. <laughs> White stuff came out of it. It's coming. <laughs> How's my percentage doing? Very well, very well, sir. Okay, are you, are you gonna check it? Oh, what's the percentage? How am I gonna? Okay. Can we not, okay, well, I'll check 